Hey YouTube, I'm Jacob Beach with the Preppers Bunker Outdoors. Up until today, I've been using this as a sheath for the Super Kook. I had to whip something up real quick before going on one of my survival trips with some buddies. But this ain't gonna cut it. So today, I can finally show you the, uh, proto the final prototype for our production knife sheath. Check it out. Okay, so it's taken quite a while to get this sheath out, which might be kind of weird to some of you guys. Um, when designing this knife, we had a lot of hurdles to overcome with the shape of the blade, getting the performance that we want, but also logistically, this knife is very difficult to work with. Number one priority for this knife was performance. Uh, so many large knives today fall flat on their face because the larger the knife, the more vital the ergonomics and design of the knife. And so many people are just making a knife like their smaller knives, but bigger. Well, let me tell you, it doesn't work. And that's why there's so many people out there that hate big knives. So uh, this knife has gone through a lot to get where it is today. But the design of the knife itself wasn't the only thing that was difficult. Like knives, the larger a knife is, the more difficult the sheath is to design and make as well. So we had this made up. It's made by Homestead Leathers here in Scottsville, Kentucky in my hometown. Almost everything that we do is all here in Kentucky. Uh, this is a prototype sheath, so uh, production will look a little bit different, but it'll be the same design. What's so special about this sheath is, like I said, it's so important for a sheath for a big knife to be well designed. And what having this mounting point for your belt right here that can pivot does is it allows you to balance the weight of this knife on your sheath and hold it to the point where you don't feel all of that weight on your belt. Check it out. All right, so as you can see, the knife rests about at the knife's balance point, which means if you want to hold it more canted like this and keep the knife like this, it'll stay there. If you want to wear it horizontally, it will stay there as well. But what's really nice is this balance really keeps the knife comfortable on the belt, and when you're sitting down or doing anything else, it can pivot and stay out of your way. Also, retention on the sheath is very good. It ain't going to come out. And uh, one snap, you've got your knife. This is a really, really cool sheath. I'm so excited about this thing. Look at the thickness of this leather, guys. This blade is a quarter inch thick. It's beastly. You ain't skimping on this leather. This isn't your normal flimsy little cheap leather sheath. This thing is a straight up beast. Look at that. Gosh, I wish you could see this in person and realize how beefy this thing is. It's with great pride that I'm showing you guys this knife and this holster. Uh, I cannot wait for it to get onto the market. It'll be on the market at and after Blade. If you're lucky enough to be at the Blade Show in Atlanta 2016, you can pick one of these up and play with it in person. If you're not lucky enough, you have to keep your eyes peeled on YouTube because this thing's going to be everywhere. Uh, people don't make stuff like this. This isn't on the market. And uh, so we're going to be taking custom orders, and if you're lucky, we might have a couple in stock after Blade Show. I seriously doubt it, because as soon as this hit, knife hits the market, we're not going to be able to keep up with the demand. These things are freaking awesome. So uh, go ahead, go on Facebook, look up Dry Creek Forge, give us a like there. You can uh, keep up with us, see what all we're doing, and uh, of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.